Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Killer McKnight and I'm accompanied by my girlfriend Taylor. Queen Taylor on this channel. <laughs> you guys, you already know. So Chris Stapleton's a country guy, right? I don't listen to country. I don't know who Chris Stapleton is. But you really enjoy him, right? I do. I don't know that I would classify him only as country. Okay. Um, which, <laughs> you know, you know, I, I'm not good with my genre, so maybe he is. Um, I know he's done some uh, I don't know what you would call them, duets maybe with like some pop singers and stuff. Um, maybe like a country pop type was vibe. He, was Chris Stapleton the guy on um The Voice? Or no? I don't know if he was on The Voice. If he was, that's outside of my knowledge. No, like one of the judges. Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton. <laughs> that's not who we're covering today. Not who we're covering. So with a song title like Tennessee Whiskey, you think that it's like straight up country, but I digress. He's got Chris Stapleton has a very, very like smooth kind of raspy, like smoky, sexy voice. Okay. Simmer your tits. Sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> That's a leather seat. He does though. <laughs> seat soaker. <laughs> Freaking seat soaker. So anyways, we've been doing a lot of Dimash and Alip Bata lately. Chakra Khan? Chakra Khan? Chakra Khan? Chakra Khan? I'm not has, sure how to say it. Has been re This cover has been requested a whole hell of a lot. So with that being said, I know that you're going to... Have you ever heard of Tennessee Whiskey? Do you know the song? I do know the song. I actually really enjoy the song. Um, I'm very, very curious how this is going to go because of Chris Stapleton's voice, his tone. This song sounds so good with that kind of tone. So I'm curious to hear it any other way. I think I've not heard a Tennessee whiskey cover um, from a male. So I'm Excited. I'm anxious to see yeah, what this is going to be like. I think a big part of the reason I love the song so much is is the kind of rasp and like gravel in Chris Stapleton's voice. So okay, I'm anxious and I'm excited. Yeah. Like you said, this has been requested a lot. So it's got to be good. With that being said, you guys, let's hop into the video. Listen, never let your class empty. Ever. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Spend my nights out in a ballroom. Oh, raspy, hey, sexy. Liquor was the only love I know. But when you rescue me from reaching for the bottom and drown me by, you like that, yeah, from being. He really drags that out, eh? He sounds good. It sounds like literal gravel. It sounds fantastic. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Pepper needs new shorts. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it right now. You're embarrassing me on the internet. <laughs> from being Oh, 
Diggity dog. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? So I don't have anything to reference that off of. I, I've i never listened to Chris Stapleton. I haven't heard of Tennessee Whiskey. It came out in 2015, the original track. I have no basis. So I can't tell you if, like, who done it better. Um, But you know what that song gave me a lot of vibes from? It's like New Orleans like down in the south like folk music yeah and his voice was super raspy super and i love how much fun they had yeah i definitely think that that was very noticeable that that's why i was kind of like looking at you laughing because you know you would be like chuckling one second which i just thought was the cutest and like sweetest thing ever you'd be like chuckling and literally like a second later just like back in song doing so good yeah and i loved that it was just like you can tell that that's a very natural talent to just be able to like go right back into it that way. And yeah, I mean, obviously I love Chris Stapleton. Love his voice. As I've said, love that song. He did Chris Stapleton justice. I mean, I was actually really, really nervous um, because I thought it was going to be like just completely different from what it was. And like I had said earlier, um, I think, Part of that song is so good is because of like that gravelly rasp, like you said, kind of a bluesy, folksy, down south kind of tone to it. And um, he has that. And damn, does he have it? He's he got it. He is so good. Yeah, I um don't know for sure how to pronounce his name, but I'm going to learn it because I'm going to be saying that name again and I'm going to be listening to him again because. Yeah, just seat soaker. Those are those are my types of like. You're the metalhead. You know, I listen to kind of a lot of different stuff, but like folksy, bluesy type stuff is like my jam. But that rasp and that like gravel and those like gritty voices like that. Yeah, it gets you. Oh, it, it, it gets me. 
I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know why I take her out anyway. I can't. I really just have to leave her at home. It's just really good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that was uh, Chakra Con Tennessee Whiskey, a Chris Stapleton cover. This is a live session, too. I didn't even fucking know that. This is a live session, oh, too. yeah. So he was playing, doing all that live. It kind of makes sense when he's, like, giggling and they're all shit i love that it was very like in the moment and just raw and real and i think that that makes it more enjoyable that blows my mind even more that that was what oh my god he's fantastic sorry i that, i just came to that revelation and it blew me hard blew my mind hard blew my mind can't take <laughs> him anywhere <laughs> get that mind out of the gut of that i know right? <laughs> yeah. anyways I am all red now. <laughs> I am just a strawberry wine. Right? Shut up. Anyways, guys, that's our time. Bye. Bye.